So we'll start with this clip. People who don't fish think that all we do is sit around on Nara Duff all day. But you know that if you go fishing, you got to be in some kind of a shape. So I'll tell you what. All right. Welcome back to another unfortunate episode of Movie Catheter. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Max. I'm here with Tyler and I'm here with Katie. Thanks for having me. Should we roll the clip? Sure, go for it. Let's do it. The pitcher whines, here's the fish. D Rack one. That salmon seemed right over the inside corner, caught grunt swinging. This is boring. That's right. It's not so boring when I'm out here with my good buddy Billy Bob and we have a little a good buddy fishing talk out here. Boy, the time really goes as if it do right on by. Okay, so what you've just seen are clips from both Imaginarium on VHS and Dwarf Goes Fishing. Essentially what's going to be happening here is this is a battle of these two tapes. Which one do you think is, is better is what we're all going to decide by the end of it. So we're 12 angry men in this? You take that. Give a little toss over there. You take that lure and you just... Like that? Hmm. Or we could just talk about these stupid pieces of shit. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm fine with throwing everything out the window. So we have to come with a two to three on which of these movies we actually enjoy more. Yes. Oh. <laughs> but what genre do these fit in? Shit? Should we go one by, <laughs> should we go one by one? Or I guess interesting shit. Let's get into that. Uh, yeah. I guess. Should we go tape by tape? I feel like we should. Yes, because they both are uh, very entertaining, though I, I feel like one is a little more on the educational skew. And You're talking about Dorf, right? Dorf, of course. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, here we are. This is the home of Grunt. He was the very first caveman to discover a fishing. So yeah. let's do that. Who is Dorf? <laughs> See, you're almost saying dwarf, because that's the thing he's cut off at the knees. I think I think you've brought up a point. Yeah. So. Uh, these aren't too hot. Still leaves your arms free to fish. Pull the little zipper up. Oops. Ah. <laughs> Get those cheap vests. Is this that stupid of a joke where it, it's just it, called you, dwarf? You, you never know. Sure? Is that the whole joke? Is that the whole joke with him? Other than I don't being know. like a weird like Minnesotan short man. The reason we chose this is because I find this tape pretty aggressively unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's get this stuff and get into the boat, all right? Well, I get a little nauseous in boats. When I get nauseous, try looking in the mirror. What was that? I said the water. It's very clear. Get the stuff, get in the boat, let's move out. Zippity-doo. What do you uh, think? What words would you use to describe dwarf goes fishing? Those are mine. We all know the name of this game. Big ones, small ones, none the same. It's a frustrating, fascinating part of life. Alter those arms now. Ooh, let's do three words. That's a classic movie catheter dumb game. Can Dwarf in three words. Oh man, I need four. I can do it in four. All right, I'll give you my. I'll just fine. I'll do mine in two. Aggressively unfunny. I'll stick to the three. That's been my rule. Very aggressively mm -hmm. unfunny. Katie, I'm gonna say Ernest did it better. Oh, I'll allow it for four. Yeah. Not in Ernest goes to Africa. No. <laughs> Oh, we at Movie Catheter are distancing ourselves. I like scotch and water. Will that be with ice, oh anointed one who spit in the sacred bowl? Ernest probably <laughs> does fishing better than Oh, dwarf, better than Dwarf. Sure. Yeah. Unfunny live action goofy cartoon. <laughs> with a hyphen between live That's and a five, action. But I'll allow it. 
Yeah, you mentioned that pretty quick in watching Dwarf. You were like, this is just live action goofy. But then you realized about 20 minutes in, but yeah, this isn't funny though. No, it's not. <laughs> So, let me ask you this. <laughs> Who is this for? Because <laughs> 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 that's what I just... That's what I wonder about Dwarf is because, like, in the VHS stores, like, like Hollywood Video Blockbuster back in the day, when there were tapes, there'd be, like, a comedy section. Mm -hmm. Like, humor. And this would be... We have other Dwarf VHS tapes besides this one. This was, like, a comedy video people would order. Yeah. Who is this for? This was in the comedy section and not like the children's family section? No, this is a comedy. How fishing makes sense to me. The best things in life are free. When you're out fishing, you all need to go out fishing. Take some time and go fishing. Like, Give me the guy that buys this tape. What is he? What is someone who thinks fishing is his life and he just watches it and it's like, oh, ha, his wife caught more fish than he did, you know, and just can <laughs> yeah. enjoy that. Like that's just the sense of humor of this that gentleman. Piece of fiction that would like, never happen to me. Right. Not so like, years. you know, I go fishing on Saturday. I go to church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Rent <Yeah>. the video. <laughs> Rent a, a video on the Friday. <laughs> the new dwarf video. Gonna out. make some jokes about fishing. Ah. Uh, all right, how did you get that even without the bait? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, here you go, just... Oh, there's another one. Here's a cutie. I'm sure of it. Hi! Shut up! Yeah, the guy who uh, rents this and owns this copy uh, also has Duck Hunt, and he thinks that's what hunting is like. Good one. Um, and he thinks this is what fishing is like. Uh, good that's... one. I was going to say a guy who had no imagination might find this pretty funny. Now what you're going to need maybe is a nice fanny pack. You'll be carrying all your personals in here. Maybe your license or uh, valuables, your wallet, things of that nature. So make sure that's snug. You'll have that on most of the day. Why don't you pick that up and try to put that back on? <laughs> Watch the lid. Okay, fasten that. Make sure that it's snug so that... Why don't you make sure that it's snug? Stand up. Pull it up. Right. You know... Where's your bacon? I don't have a bacon. Bacon? That is for amateurs. I laugh. Do you, do you, do you? Oh. Oh my god. How many times? I, I know we have a count. <laughs> we have a count. So, everyone. Logan has just given me a list, and he kept track of how many times we laughed during Dorf. So, here we are talking shit about how shitty Dorf was. And yet. Katie, I knew you were the quietest during Dwarf. Logan has... <laughs> <laughs> you were making the least noise out of everybody. Yeah, was... And so I'm glad Logan's count uh, displays that. You had six laughs. Okay. You laughed six times six. at Dwarf. <laughs> the second least laughs goes to me. I had 11 okay. laughs. Tyler, I knew you were laughing the most. <laughs> you had 14 laughs. Uh, <laughs> only by three. I laughed. <laughs> so you love Dwarf's laugh. I just was so surprised by it. <laughs> who who laughs like this? Only a man who's three foot nine. Or, and has just lost all sense of what humor is in the first place. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it's hot out here. Right. It is a little uh, warm. Well, you know, when you get into nature's hotel, it's kind of hard to control the air conditioner. <laughs> It's not necessarily even that interesting to talk about. It's 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 a terrible, no, it, terrible and, and video. No, every single part is about fishing. <laughs> every single one. And There's I'm not a moment where it's not about fishing. <laughs> it's, 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 it's so. <laughs> it's always. Why does it have to? It, it is, is dwarf goes fishing. I'll give them that. But there's no reason to even talk about this tape. It's terrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently, there's a weightlifting one you guys have too. We have dwarf lifting weights on VHS as well. Yeah, I wrote this uh, dwarf uh, on golfing. See? Dwarf she on the diamond, which is about baseball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a series of dwarf tapes yeah. out there. This oh, is only one of them. Baseball just sounds horrible. Tyler, let's go into your favorite clip of dwarf before oh. the break. Um, that would probably have to be this section with the cooking show. Here it is. Ah! Uh, might want to get the 
downwind of that. Now, if you're having a little trouble laying your fish, your knife may be a little dull. I think my wife's been cutting cardboard boxes with this. I don't... What uh... you want to do is just bring it across your sharpening stone toward you several times. Make sure, though, that you watch out for your finger. You want to cut that ah! out? Woohoo! This is, a, this is a debate. We are figuring out well, which is better. I, I, so I what are the say, positives you're taking away from Dorf? Going just forward? knowing that Dorf exists. Mm. Like, that's something I never knew in the past, and so it's a whole... Today you learned who Dorf yeah, was. Yeah, so that's a okay. whole new thing. That's a positive, I guess. Let's in 60 seconds remember as much as we can about Dorf. That'll be the game. Okay. The tragedy is I don't remember much. <laughs> all right, so in 60 seconds, we are all going to shout out the things we remember about Dorf. Dorf gets dressed for fishing. Dorf sells <laughs> products about fishing that are supposed to be useful but never work the right way, like a wily coyote. Dorf hates his wife. He says he hates her a lot. That's true, he does. But wife is better at fishing than Dorf. You're calling him Dwarf, Katie. <laughs> His name is Dorf. <laughs> it's a whole different. And life. then he learns how to he learns how to cook a fish and make a campsite meal from a lady on a TV. That's definitely a dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what else did Dorf do? Um. Then they went back to the fish. Dorf was a caveman. <gasps> Dorf was a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> the bow plus the arrow. Plus the fish equals the food. What he didn't know was that the bow plus the arrow plus the foot equals the pain. <laughs> oh. Whoa. <laughs> what can he do? It's just the history of the caveman and, and how fishing And how cavemen discovered fishing. It's pretty accurate as far as I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Dwarf. Drove. He drove? The boat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He that's drove the right. boat into those people. No, that was part of the selling. It was one of the things they were selling with the computer system. <laughs> Dorf drove the boat, and the computer said, Game over. over. <laughs> I don't think I can. Because Dwarf does not know what we on are. Earth to talk about. <laughs> it's not even a movie. All right, well, we're over 60 seconds. We remembered as much as we could about Dwarf. There's clips. There's... You can turn off at this point. This doesn't appeal to you. We have a whole nother level of video to show. Right? We have Imaginarium next. Should we take a pause on Dwarf? We know what we're having. Yeah. We've got some, we can talk about Dwarf in the conclusion. Let's Correct. get going on Imaginarium. Okay. Right. Katie, yeah. introduce to the audience out there, Imaginaria. Imaginaria, a slew of bastardized <laughs> computer animations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from the early times, yep. the before nows. So basically, this is just a bunch of strewn together, like you said, animations. Mm -hmm. Mostly music videos. There's 13 of them. What was your favorite one? Where's, no, we should, three words for this. That's where it is three next. Words. Okay. Three words for Imaginaria. For a place that's far from harm, where you're tucked in safe and warm, dreaming of sailing ships so high. Okay, really crappy Fantasia. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. That summation just hit me real hard. I'm going to go with really that... crappy Fantasia. Yeah. Um, essentially, just animations, not the highest of quality. Mm -hmm. There's something there in a few of them, but 
There's a crappy song. I'm going to kind of keep everything together. Very creepy, crappy song. Song gives me the creeps a little bit. Which one? Come and go with us to Imaginaria. This is where you learn how high to fly. Yeah, very creepy. It's like a very you're like, warm inside your bed. It's like a very like <laughs> that's one of the songs. <laughs> it is. It's like yeah. weird, I don't know. I'm glad you said that. Thank now you. I can say yeah. it. It yeah. sounds like child molester music to me. <laughs> it really does. It does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> you can agree. I do. All right. I agree with that. Katie's gonna distance herself from these comments. <laughs> like, like. Why but I'm glad mention, you see it. Why are they specifically mentioning that? It is weird. It's like, weird. What is this? <laughs> in a place that's far from harm, where you're tucked in safe and warm, dreaming of sailing ships so high. What is this? Three, we gotta do three, three words. words. Let's finish this so, thing out. Wait, you know, you had really crappy Fantasia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's hear it. Three words. Wow, even spoons get hungry and have a knick-knack attack. Raiding the refrigerator, they line up for a midnight snack. Art teachers sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, you're in elementary school, oh, they roll out the rolly TV. You're art teachers Welcome sick. Welcome to Imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> they printed out some coloring sheets for you guys, so you're gonna color and you're gonna watch Imaginaria, <laughs> and it's gonna inspire you it's like we were inspired when we took LSD yeah. with the Indians on the reservation. <laughs> <laughs> when was this? I missed it. It's, I wasn't there that day. I was sick that day of <laughs> elementary school. Uh, you know, it's a good do time. LSD with Indians. No, day. the teachers did that, like, and then they came and taught. Like, the, you know, like know there's always crazy. the one burnout teacher. You know that. <laughs> That's just the case. Every single day. The fuck are you talking about? I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> it's so funny. <sighs> There's always the one bird. Are you also thinking about Miss? Is that what that, that's a good yeah. one. I actually love Miss. Right. I understand right. the comparison. Yeah, I know. Well, she was. Oh, I know, but she was rad. She's like. Stuff. True point. My three words. Um, We're keeping better it with this. drugs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Katie, how about you bring us into a clip of Imaginaria? Roll the dancing pencils. He says that we can be anything. We can do anything. We can see anything that we want It's as simple as it seems It doesn't cost a lot to get inside our dream He says that we can be anything We can do anything Anything is possible now All right, well, I enjoyed that clip of Imaginary. I think that's one of the best parts. Man, that caboose really did not want to jump over that track. I haven't even shown that clip. Oh, yet. Well, we'll have to do that one next. I'll have that next. Okay. So we've got 60 seconds again to talk about as much as we can remember from Imaginaria. Let's go. Uh, boy, that song, We Can Do Anything With The Dancing Pencils, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very inspirational. Mm -hmm. um, the entire drum section at the end that... Um, Concludes the video before we go back to the reprise the of Phil, the Phil Collins concert. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, the Pixar one. Pixar's first thing is in yep. this. Um, the Adventures of Andre and Wally B. Yeah. Um, oh. Night Magic, baby. Night Magic. Night yeah. Magic. Was 
that the one with the salt and pepper shakers? That was the salt and pepper. Okay. <laughs> Gourmet records where the dude eats the records and each record has like a taste that's a different like song. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Got to eat a record, uh -huh. And then there's that train segment where the train had too much anxiety, but he really held it in together. The Inception duck that is reliving the oh. same. With the dancing cactus the that was funnier Ooh. each time, every time it got faster. There you go. Yeah. Lock yes. going on in this tape. Very, so, so much. All right. Uh, this, one's, this one's at least more fun to talk about than Dwarf so far, I feel like. What was your favorite? What's your, what's, so there's, there's this 13 different skits. Which one was your favorite? It's a tie between that, like the train one, because without faces, I could feel and get the, con they conveyed the emotions of the, train and the caboose very well is even this, without is, a face is this like, the first animation you've seen of a train having a panic attack yeah i've never seen part of a train have a panic attack before that's crazy So we're just following this train. It's kind of nice and calming. And then, oh no, there's a hole in the track. Mm -hmm. So the train stops before it hits. And then it tells its caboose friend who's attached to the back end of it, like it's a human centipede. Mm -hmm. Hey man, we're gonna jump over this track. So you better be ready. And the caboose is nowhere close to ready. It's mm -hmm. shaking its head. It's having a panic attack. It has a dream sequence that is like the Willy Wonka scary tunnel. Mm -hmm. In terms of like train death, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then they do some Fast and the Furious ride on one um, set of wheels. Yeah, yeah. they jump Get over across. the gap. Like Tyler said, I did enjoy the one that capped it off, the, the musical Phil Collins, Blue Man Group, without any actual musicians, yeah. magical instruments. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. That one definitely was like something we would have watched if my band, high school band teacher was sick. Like, yeah, no disagreements you know, like, Here, we're going to put that on. Or the... hung over. It didn't have to oh, go that Maybe hard. not that hard of drums, actually, if you're hung over. <laughs> It, it actually sounded good. It did. It did sound good. Like, I, I would listen to that again. My favorite one's that one, too. Yeah. So then we can save my time by talking about Night Magic. <laughs> Wait, hold what on. Happens Is there with... anything else we forgot? Well, I'm, I'm going to force you to tell me what happens in Night Magic. Where do those aliens come down? They came down in an appliance store <laughs> where there's a vacuum. <laughs> oh, we're talking about that section. Yeah. <laughs> But um, they, one of them bends over, and then they put the vacuum next to his ass and just suck. <laughs> Sucked up those dummy thick cheeks. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Those aliens didn't need to be that thick with three C's, but they were. Yeah, that three was very C's. strange. Oh, yeah. There was at least one with three C's. The rest maybe two C's. The alien got his ass sucked out of fat ass. <laughs> so, and, and Styro the dog, who is a dog who went to prison for terrorism. I'm the dog. Where's the bone? <laughs> <laughs> He's Styro the dog. I'm the dog. Where's the bone? He's Styro. Yeah, what was up with that one? That, there was a dog that was convicted of being a terrorist. Mm -hmm. And they sent like, him to jail, and he's like, hope I can hide when the cops come. And I was like, wait, what What was that line? Yeah, but I was wondering why he was a terrorist. Yeah. It was just a dog. How does a dog become a terrorist? That yeah. Was one of my In a cat society. <laughs> All right, uh, Tyler, how about you send us into a clip of Imaginarium? Oh, well, like I said, we guess you should look at that train. and If we have a second, maybe also that, like the drums thing. 
think both. Oh, of both the show. drums has been in by this point. Okay, you know what? Enough. Fuck that. We're gonna have more drums. Yeah, do the drums more, again. More drums. Yeah. Bring the drums back. So. Tyler, before we continue to final thoughts and comparisons, you told Katie and I you wanted to just get it out there that you you were not okay with the wooden dancing baby. We can be anything. We can do anything. Anything is possible now. What was that thing? Anything is possible now. I, I completely was thrown off by how terrifying. It's final thoughts and comparisons time. We're going to do our final thoughts and comparisons for both tapes, and then we're going to decide which one is better. And we only have to do this 800 more times before <laughs> we've gone through every tape we have. Oh, no. So let's get this first one out of the way. Uh, Katie, how about you start us off? Final thoughts and comparisons for Dorf. Dorf. Final thoughts and comparisons. By I'm, Katie Hansen. By Katie. <laughs> this is your book report me. you never had to do. Eighth grader, Katie Hansen. Uh, I'm going to say that this is much like myself in the eighth grade, uh, a remedial, remedial rendition of what I should have been learning, like an actual practical skill. Mm. Um, but it, instead, this is the textbook that I got and am forced to study from. And you know what? I can only do so much learning from it because it only has so much to offer. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. It's fantastic. What'd you compare it to? Uh, I would compare it to every dejunct curriculum i've ever had <laughs> in school apt uh, yeah apt. it's apt. uh it's but it's it's short and sweet um 30 minutes and he himself is short <laughs> it's mm. dwarf yeah. tyler final thoughts comparisons for dwarf <sighs> it really just gets to this point where you're like this would all be much funnier to see like an actual little like animated dude walking around on like the stub legs yeah like remake this but with cotton hill and he can be like a raging narcissist the whole time yeah I watch that if this was a lot more filthy i would have enjoyed it right at 1895 you can set your pole and walk to the nearest cooler and back the worst thing he did was he'd be like i i hate you my wife like and it's that's he like kept the most saying he hated his wife. It was weird. I give it three time. Marie Antoinettes out of five. Apt. <laughs> Once again, making me do the Photoshop for that, Tyler. <laughs> um, for me, final thoughts, comparisons. We've just always had this tape. I've never thought it was very funny. Yeah, here we are, watching it again, struggling to talk about it. I think I just wanted to show you guys that Dorf existed. And there's plenty of these tapes. I haven't seen the golfing one you mentioned. I haven't seen the baseball one. We have Dorf lifting weights. I'll put a clip Why in right sport here. Related? I don't I sport. think he like I think Tim sport Conway related. I think that was part of Tim Conway's shtick was sports. And Dorf doing them. Fair enough. Can I compare it to something on Alright, I'll compare it to something I know isn't that special, but I'll still show everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what what is that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> my ass. Uh, sure. This is my ass. <laughs> you got a dwarf ass. You know what? No, the comparison. This is one of those fucking uh, Billy Big Mouth bass things. You click on a wall yeah. and it sings the song. You're like, that isn't that entertaining. Me too. That isn't that cool who at fish all. Think it's fucking <laughs> right. Yeah. And it's like, okay, sure. There, that's my comparison. Imaginarium, let's go. Final thoughts, comparisons. Come on. Woo. Uh, you started last time. I'll be nice. I'll start this time. Thank you. Remember when you, as a kid, you'd go to, like, the museum, and inside the planetarium, they had, like, a weird rock and roll kind of laser show on the side of the okay, walls and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that, where instead of actually doing lasers, it's all, like, weird computer-generated graphics. I remember that. Through. Mm -hmm. It's that with, like, kids' music and a couple, like, cartoons in the middle for 45 minutes. <laughs> Uh, 
I would compare it to when you go babysitting and you have to watch like the Barbie tapes with like the mm. person you're babysitting mm. and you're like, okay, I guess we're watching this, but it's kind of babyish. All that I know is when I'm grown up, I'll be the size to look them in the eye. I guess interesting to see where Pixar kind of started out at. It's... Yeah, only one of theirs one is of from theirs, Pixar, like, yeah. yeah but, I thought theirs is actually probably one of the worst. Final thoughts, comparisons, Katie. I really enjoyed this one. This was an amalgamation of just a, like Saturday morning cartoons, but all the ones that were definitely rejected in the early 90s. <laughs> Uh, the Adventures of Train and Caboose, bro. Actually, I would continue to watch more. They, ra- they rail so Let's hard, go bro. Pause, yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will compare this to like a, a child's toy box. Mm. Uh, that's you know it's got some good stuff in there some stuff that's definitely worth playing with and worth uh you know pulling out of the box and then the rest you can tell have it hasn't been touched in years goodwill said no <laughs> goodwill said no <laughs> this is the pixar goodwill said no box <laughs> final thoughts and comparisons for me this is very loud and grabs your attention lots of times it's impossible to be bored watching this it's just a lot going on at once. Very loud. Uh, yep. the, 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 it, the audio is mixed well on the VHS somehow. It's very powerful. It, uh, very jarring in terms of the just the difference in things. There's no good like midpoint telling you a cartoon's changing. It just no, changes it just all goes of a sudden. On, yeah. yeah, and then maybe a song will bridge it, and maybe it won't. Crappy Fantasia. Traveling down the tracks and I don't know when I'll be back looking for adventures. So I'll compare this to a food. This is uh, this is what Del Taco taste. This movie is what Del Taco tasted like ten years ago. <laughs> this is terrible, but they were you know <laughs> like hey maybe this could get good one day. Just like this the Pixar guys got good. Del Taco. This Feed video. the beast. Is that their motto? No, I don't actually know what it is. You got to pay it. Tyler Nickel for that. <laughs> Write yeah. the check. Uh, let's finish this out. Else. Should we just decide which, which one's better? Is there any contest which one's better? I think you're right. Yeah, there really isn't a contest at that. We point. all think Imaginarium's better. Cool. I take it. Yeah. yeah. In terms of just what it's presenting, there's more creativity and... Um, there's some good stuff on Imaginarium. Imagination yeah. involved with there it. There is. There's a whole song about it. You know, mm-hmm. and when you, when you look at Dwarf, he seems like the kind of person... <laughs> Who would sing that first song about when you're fast asleep, but he'd do it in the Minnesota accent. <laughs> That's pretty accusatory. <laughs> Come at me, Tim Conway. Get the death cooler and let's get on with this thing, girl. I also think Tim he Conway is. has been dead for several years. Tim Conway is dwarf. Is he dead? Is Tim Conway dead? He might be. Come no, at me, Tim Conway estate. <laughs> Tyler, don't threaten the estate of a dead man. <laughs> Not again, rule, man. Rule number one on this podcast after what Katie did last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he dead, Logan? Will you Google it? Yeah. We're, w- we're curious now. I want to know if I can just fight the old man <laughs> or if I have to dig up his body and desecrate it. <laughs> no, he died May 14th, 2019. Oh, so very last recently. Year. Recently. <laughs> well, rest he is- almost threw out my birthday. Merry Christmas, Tim Collins. <laughs> <laughs> I have feelings about doing <laughs> Shut up. I hate you. I don't care if you do or not. So let's get let's let's close that on. This was an easy choice. Obviously Imaginarium is fucking way better. <laughs> we all hate Dorf. Why do we all hate Dorf? This, he tried, so why are we all giving him shit? Just because it's terrible, god damn it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> that entirely. Yeah. We're not going to give him any credit. It's just this is terrible. There's no his, his waiting entire, through this. This his, is a, this is a, a shit His entire puddle. joke is that his, it's done. His, his, he doesn't late. have legs. His it's, joke is that he doesn't have legs. <laughs> but he has them. They're just short. Little legs, yeah. Like. Yeah, I don't know what that has to do with fishing. It never really affects his fishing. He's just short. <laughs> Yeah.
the whole stick isn't funny with like with just funny. being a short man. Like it's what's is the joke that he's short? Am I supposed to laugh at that? Hey. Well, will you guys be pursuing any future dwarf movies? Not if I can help it. But <laughs> knowing this show. Yeah. You're going to throw me back in for that weightlifting. We might as one. well. Hey. That weightlifting tape also has other Tim Conway comedy on it. Uh, him as a baseball manager. Also on that tape. Ooh. Not excited. I'm we're not going to watch it. It sucks. This is the this is the good dwarf tape. <laughs> we brought out the good dwarf for you and it's hey. this. <laughs> this is the top shelf dwarf that no, we own. That's you that's don't want to You don't want to watch that weightlifting one. There's a laugh track underneath dwarf in the other one. This dwarf, that would make that ten a... times worse. Dude, the laugh track behind Dorf. Put in Dorf for the laugh track. <laughs> what you think of that, Katie? That was content. I think I'm in the trouble. <laughs> Tyler, you got anything to peg, buddy? No, at this point, nothing at this point. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, guys. Also, Thank this was you. fun. As we all always. we all enjoyed in the friendship of Imaginaria. Oh, you. you know what I would say? Let's make sure everyone's going to Janky Jank on YouTube. Oh, soon as we got Johnson. your endorsement. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You can see We're Tyler's here. face on Games yes. from Purgatory. Well, uh, yeah, and uh, fuck Dwarf, shall we all say? Yeah. What do you got to say to Dwarf? Why would you give a message to Dwarf? Why would... Don't waste your anger on him. He doesn't deserve that either. Okay. Not your laughter and not your anger. Yeah. This is probably the last time I'll watch Dwarf now that it exists on the internet. I'm just going to be... And also, people out there will only be getting the top shelf Dwarf clips. They don't have to watch the full Right. We're going to give them the clips. good things if there are any of those in there. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, like a raisin brand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just the raisins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Dwarf. Oops, all raisins. Oops, all crunch berries. Hi folks, we're here to tell you that it is crucial that not even once in your life should you ever dwarf. Millions of Americans every year are affected by dwarf. Whether it be through accidental viewing. <laughs> Millions of Americans every year are affected by dwarf. Whether it's from watching it accidentally or purposeful viewing. But... We can hear at the Association of Dwarf Haters. Once again, <laughs> the Association of Dwarf Haters. <laughs> Want to make sure that you know that you should never do dwarf. Not even once. Amen. Hey,